Hey everybody, Five Farley here. Weekday's best bet video out. Uh, I want to get the, you know, there's not a lot of games this week, so I want to get the best bet to you as quickly as I can. Uh, it's going to be on Friday's slate of games, and uh, then you can also tune in to the NCAA football and NFL's best bet for the weekend as well. Not a big slate. We really have the NFL game. We got uh, uh, two college football games and then a, a couple baseball games. So um, my best bet for this week is going to be going to the baseball game. Um, I think we just have a really good spot here. So first, let's look back. If you haven't seen my other video on the World Series, where the series should be at when they come back to Washington, and then what we were looking for when they came back to Washington, I'll kind of give you the short version, is that I was looking for a 1-1 split. Took Strasburg yesterday in the Nationals. Um, yeah, it took till the 7th to break that tie. But once they open the floodgates, huge win for the Nationals and big win for my uh, bankroll um, at a plus 170 dog. So happy about that. Now we're coming back to Washington, and it's interesting that the Nationals actually switched out Corbin and put in uh, Anibal Sanchez. Um, Sanchez has been great, and it's justifiably so. Uh, but I was looking at capitalizing on Corbin but I wasn't going to play it since they're down 0-2, or since they're up 2-0, and the, Nash, or the Astros have their back against the wall. Now we have this switch that makes me even more intrigued on the Astros' side. So I think we're actually getting value here um, on this line, where it could be up to a uh, you know, minus 180, 190. We're getting it down at uh, minus 130, now 140. Uh, I'm going to jump on this Astros' side, and you can even take the run line if you'd like, but I'm going to take money line considering we're coming back into the Nationals' uh, uh, territory, first game at home um, for the Nationals for a World Series. And so uh, and I'll break down why. So Hannibal Sanchez, great through the playoffs. He's been good in the postseason, almost had the no-hitter. Um, but when we look at his home record, it's not as, as, as good as uh, uh, you know the other Nationals starters, including Corbin. Uh, uh, Strasburg and uh, Scherzer, but uh, it's also not as good as Zach Greinke's is on the road, uh, who, who he's going to be opposing here in this one. So Sanchez at home has a 4-2-4 ERA. He was 4-2 this season. Uh, at home he had 15 starts, um, but only with a 4-2 four win, two loss record, um, and opponents were hitting 250 against him. Uh, while in DC. Meanwhile, Zach Greinke, uh, while he's on the road, his average, his uh, ERA actually goes down. He's better on the road than he is at home. Opponents hitting just 2-11 against him on the road. They used him more on the road than at home. 18 starts versus 15 at home. ERA 2.64. He was 10 and 4 on the road versus at home 3-2-7, 8 and 1 at home. So uh, a little more run support when he's at home, but. 2.64 ERA on the road versus Sanchez's 4.24 ERA at home. What I also think is happening here is you're going to get, I, I feel like the Nationals want to win one of the next two games, and they know they have Granke starting this one. So instead of chancing Corbin getting in a pitcher's duel with Granke, they're, they're rolling the dice with Sanchez having a good outing and putting Corbin into Saturday's game, which could be a bullpen game. It could be Eurykity for the Astros. So they could chance it with Cole back on the bump on a short rest um, if their back is against the wall and they have to get that win. That could be the case. But either way, they push back Corbin's start, who's tremendous at home, and putting Sanchez on the mound here because I don't think they want to burn Corbin. Um, instead, they're going to burn Sanchez to face Grinky because Grinky is really good. And if we look at their matchups uh, against the lineups, you're going to see another advantage in favor of the Astros here. So Zach Grinky going against the uh, Nationals hitters has a 267 uh, batting average. Opponents have 267 batting average. Not a whole lot that sticks out except for uh, as Drupal uh, Cabrera. Uh, who hits 432. Um, and, and, you know, a better one is only three home runs and 217 at bats, which is great. Uh, 364 slugging percentage is what we'll find there. Uh, going through the lineup, uh, you know, we look at uh, 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 Rendon. He's one of 12, 083 batting average. Uh, Howie Kendrick is uh, five of 20, so a 250 average. Um, 
you know, there's not a whole lot of uh, Soto is 0, 0 for 3. Um, Ryan Zimmerman is 3 of 9. Uh, but only three home runs and 217 at-bats against Grinkies. Tremendous. Not to mention better on the road. And their backs are against the wall. Let's talk about Sanchez against the Astros. 330 batting average by the Astros lineup. And we're not talking about like one time he started against these guys. We're talking about 109 at-bats, so pretty good sample size. Um, you have Michael Brantley, who is uh, 9 of 30. That's a 300 average. Uh, Beltron is 9 of 26, a 346 average. Altuve. 364 average, uh, four for 11, um, five dingers in those 109 at bats. So that's, you know, one every four, um, excuse me, one every 20 uh, at bats. We have a home run off Sanchez with this lineup. So that's a 505 slugging percentage, a lot better. Um, so, you know, we got a lot of big hits. Um, by the way, uh, Josh, Josh Reddick, uh, three of 13, Springer. Uh, hitting 600 against uh, Sanchez. So, you know, better batting averages, 330 um, with a decent sample size, which is important to note with this uh, interleague, you know, for the World Series. Meanwhile, Grinke at 267, not tremendous against the Nationals hitter, but still much, much better than Sanchez has been against, has been against the Astros. So all things says we have the a great team like the Astros who are back against the wall, this move by the Nationals, I think they're rolling the dice in this one, banking to win game four to go up three to one. I'm taking the Astros here. I want to cash in on this opportunity to take the Astros. So I'm going to take the Astros in this spot. Um, I'm, my play is going to be the minus 140, but if you want to go run line at plus 130, uh, feel free to do so. Um, me personally, I actually took both. I kind of split my wager between the two. Um, but uh, the pick here is going to be Astros game game uh, three. All right. So there you go. Weekday best bet Astros in game three. He's backing uh, Zach Greinke. Check out my picks for the college football weekend as well as the NFL best bet of the weekend. We got some good slates this weekend. I'm excited about those. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and uh, check me out on patreon.com slash All right. Good luck, everyone.